<laughs> nah, man. I was literally watching Luka Doncic drop a literal masterclass in the conference finals, and I was going to have a good sleep, wake up, and, you know, take a couple days off of, you know, the entire YouTube aspect, which I ended up planning for for quite a bit. Then one of my boys in the RE YouTube scene sent me an interesting video and I was mentioned in it. At first I was like, oh wow, cause from the title it's giving off sneak dissing vibes. And I was like, okay cool, I'ma just do my own thing and do whatever. But then I saw the name and I was like, oh, it's this guy. Now don't worry, I'll talk about him later on in the video. But I want to talk about the other guy with him, Raccoon City Pizza, who funny enough I just shouted out in my video like a day or two ago. Now, let me start off with this. He DM'd me a while ago asking for a collab and stuff, and I was like, okay, it sounds cool, but I'm not interested or plan on doing any collabs, like, anytime soon. We had some talks afterwards and all that about RE and the community. He ended up sending me this Reddit thread about RE8 leaks and what was true and false to sum it up. It made Dust Gollum look pretty bad. Then he also messaged me about the revealed dates involving the RE Engine Resident Evil games talking about they release in June. By the way, this was all public information. I knew about the reveals of the games happening in spring and all that. The Reddit thread, I don't go on often at all. I don't even have the app on my phone, but then again, thank you for that. He wanted credit for it because he dug up public info and he got fucking pissed off. I don't go on Twitter too crazy involving the RE community. Like, if y'all are on it, you'll have reasons to just not bother with it at all. I wasn't on Twitter for two to three days and I also have a life outside of YouTube. Then he threw a fit and made a big ass tweet talking about me stealing public information. That was from him. I saw the tweet, it's just when I messaged him afterwards he deleted it, so I tried making peace with him for a bit and I even tried to throw him a bone. But I may have done it in a shitty attempt, I'll admit that, and if that message came off as a dick move I apologize for that. But dude, you sent me public information that a lot of people already knew about. It's just that you sent it to me, so it made my job a little bit easier. I credit you for that, and I already did. It's just I feel like the only thing that you're holding a grudge against me for is the 50-sub text message that I ended up sending to you, though, which, again, I just said was a little lame by me. He was like this when my videos were done, and I wanted to take a nice small break from things for about a couple days, maybe a week, so I was like, okay, fuck it, I'll give you credit on my next video again. I was wanting to take a break altogether. By the way, I just had to throw myself in here again super quick after when I was editing this video. The fact that I DM'd him about two days prior before my most recent RE9 video or just Resident Evil video in general, I said, okay, how about I just give you credit in that video? And he was like, okay, I look forward to it. And then all of a sudden, a day later, he still does the, the video or the fucking podcast or whatever about him dissing me. Like, what kind of bullshit is that? Pizza, dude, I wish you literally nothing but the best in your YouTube journey on your RE account and your other one. Like, I truly do. But, I mean, we could have kept this in the DMs because I did have time once I read those messages. Sure, again, the 50 subs thing was a little lame of me to do, but I want you to build yourself up. And why I did that is because I believe in you and I wish you success because I was in your boots before. Constantly asking RE YouTubers for a shout out or whatever the case may be. But I just ended up sucking it up and I tried to do my best to build my own platform. But if this is our last bit of talking to each other, then by all means, I wish you well once again. And no harm, no foul. I'm willing to reconcile with you. And again, I hope you're doing well. And again, thank you for helping me. For showing me public information. By the way, for a quick word of advice, stop using AI in your videos and stealing Residents of Evil's thumbnails. It's, kind of, it's, it's not a look, good look, trust me. But speaking of lame, I saved this dude for last for a big reason. Now I'm going to mention your name. Project Wesker. I did not know who you were until you made that comment on my video. Let me give the audience some context. A couple months after the RE4 remake came out, I decided to make a video about the Wesker concept arc leak involving DC Douglas and him getting fired and replaced. The video was doing well, then all of a sudden, a day after the video came out, he commented on it saying I stole his video. I said, hey, I understand where you're coming from, but by all means, let's DM on Twitter and see if we can find some common ground and walk out of this thing, shaking hands and be acquaintances for the future. Nah, he decided to threaten me instead. From his point of view, I get why he said those things, excluding the threats, because that's fucking lame, all because of a YouTube video. Makes me feel like you've been holding this in for a very long time, and that was like your breaking point. But again, I wanted to DM him about the video and defend myself, trying to create an opportunity for me, but his DMs were closed, so I was like, damn, okay, but I'm gonna keep this video up though. Which he didn't like, obviously, but listen, he's acting like from how he was commenting that he was the one who came up with that Wesker theory. Now, understand I said that too, but I contradict my past self. Maybe, I don't know. 
But anyways, here are three screenshots of me from a year ago talking about this way before you even made that video in the first place. I had thought this in my mind for a very long time. I just didn't decide to make the video until then. I could have done it back then, but I didn't want to because I was doing other projects. Now, am I saying this was my theory? No, because this was what the community was saying for a long ass time, even as soon as the leak ended up happening. I made a video about it two years ago, dog, right when the leak dropped. I don't get this weird god complex or whatever you have that's going on in your mind. And the fact that you mentioned other RE YouTubers in the video sneak dissing again, talking about them stealing thumbnail ideas and whatnot. It's funny because the guy right beside you is doing the exact same thing from Residents of Evil. The irony from both of y'all is insane. The fact that you also mention a red line in thumbnails and saying you gotta change it up, I don't like that, is so fucking lame. If you think that in your mind, take it as flattery than anything and not be on someone's ass about it. You're the one in our comment sections trying to stir shit up while we are staying in our lane, trying to make money and put some fucking food on the table. And with that video, you're trying to take that away from us. I saw a comment on there from someone who I truly fuck with. And he turned on me and it hurt my soul, dog. It really did. Sure, do I sound like an asshole in my videos? Fair. I admitted that in one of my other videos with the PlayStation logo on it. I've seen other YouTubers do the same shit where it's like, wait, didn't I make a video about this exact title and whatnot? I know one video about it, but I don't got time to spread hatred to that person because I don't want to stop him from getting his money and platform up. If he's rising to the top, let him do that instead of tearing him down. That's where my mind is personally. And if we have the same theories at the same time, fuck it. Just drop your video, I'll drop mine, and we can move on. But you don't want to do that. You got grudges and hatred in your heart, and I pray that shit goes away and you're full of peace and love afterwards. I didn't waste my time watching your video, but my boy did, and he said something that made me laugh my ass off. You're mad that you find Dusk Gollum unreliable, and I made a tweet about him being unreliable, and that got you pissed off. My god, dude, you need help, seriously. I'm in Discord servers looking up on how and why others find him unreliable. Does that mean you stole that shit from them, or they can't have the same opinion as you because you had it first? Like, I don't understand this mentality you have. The fact that you called it the most toxic RE YouTuber shows me you either just want the clout from us, or you're just full of hatred, which I honestly respect, but you're still lame for that. We ain't sneak dissing, we ain't trying to tear you down, to me it sounds like you're the most toxic one out of everyone here, and the people you mention, it's just ironic. Another thing you did was burn bridges from other creators. It's not a good move to do, and you know who those people are. Not to mention that they know you dissed them in your video, so congratulations on that, and you've commented on their videos before. I put this shit on everything I love. I never watched your videos in my life. And guess what? I don't have no plans to do so neither. You and Pizza can be a dynamic duel all you want, but this is just the pettiest piece of unnecessary drama I've ever felt that I've ever been a part of. This is like some high school shit. I'm only here to defend myself and other creators you mentioned. You didn't give me that opportunity to do that in the DMs. We could have kept the audience out of this, so don't blame me for any of it. Because it seems like you dissed me more than anyone else. And the evidence is clear because of pizza. You got people turning on me, man. People who I really did rock with. People who I really did appreciate that would watch my videos. That shit really hurts me, especially since they've been around for so long. You're weird as hell, and I hope you know that. This is my only video on this entire thing because I don't want to waste any more energy on someone like Project Wesker. I'm staying in my lane from now on, and I'm not going to bother with you. And I don't want to interact or speak to you ever this is all you're getting from me and another thing is this you know those comments under that wesker post that i just showed in the video did you steal their theories see how easy it is for me to say that did i steal their theory no because it was never a theory the whole community thought that it all doesn't revolve around you dude i had a feeling you were gonna make a video about this entire thing with your short views like man this feels like a waste of time but i have to defend myself my gosh an hour and 30 minutes of bringing down me and other content creators i can't that's insane to me like surprise people are toxic in a community on the internet i'm gonna just press forward and just try my best to focus on re9 because that's all i'm gonna lock in on later and my second channel so many re creators you're causing problems with i wonder who the toxic one is you could have just said you were my biggest fan if anything you want to call me a knockoff but you use ai generated images in your thumbnails like get out of here with this shit man I could say something to another person in your comment section, but I don't want to waste my time on that. <laughs> Trying to flirt with me and call me your crush? I'm fucking dead, man. Oh, hey, boo, you're so fine. Like, no wonder why I fucking blocked you. Talking about bad experiences. If anything, you were the one that was making it bad. I'm tired of this, and I'm done. 
that video is still staying up. Now for the audience, if y'all rock with me, then hey, sub to my channel. If y'all don't, then that's fine too. I defended myself as much as I could and I'm just tired of a lot. I know I don't know when RE9 will get a reveal trailer, but when that happens, I'll, I'll be here. I'm off to my second channel though, man. I'll, I'll see you guys later.